Um, not passionate, yes, kissing. You were what? Not passionate, but yes, kissing. And at some point, isn't it true that you quote unquote adjusted him? Um, I helped him adjust himself. Okay, but if you helped him adjust himself, there was some adjusting that was going on, right? That's right. And that means that you moved his buttocks is what we're talking about, right? No. Didn't you move his body then so that he would be more, his body would be more available to yours? No. You didn't get on top of him and grind on top of him with your clothing on? No. That's not anything that you did, right? I did not grind that guy. You didn't, perhaps there's a, the Mormons, uh, without getting too much into it, there, you and Mr. Alexander did this grinding, didn't you? Yes. And that means something in your relationship, doesn't it? I don't know. Well, you just said that you and Mr. Alexander did this, right? Yes, I did. And that meant that your genitalia rubbed against each, against each other, right? Yes. So what you're saying is that your genitalia did not rub against Mr. Burns' genitalia, correct? That's correct. But you did get on top of him, right? Around the waist area. No, I got off of him. I fell asleep on top of him. And no, that's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking whether or not while you were kissing him, you got on top of his waist area. That's what I'm asking. I don't, I think I was laying next to him. You, you keep saying think. I want you to tell me whether or not you got on top of Mr. Burns and placed your genitalia, where it would be, I know you were clothed, on top of his. That's what I'm asking. No, I got off from being on top of him. So if you got off from being on top of him, at some point you had to be on top of him then, right? Yes. And so you were on top of his genitalia with your body. Part no. of your body was on top of his, right? No, I was on top of his stomach. Okay, and was what you're saying is you were on top of his stomach with your legs spread or not? Um... I don't recall. We were in the love sack. Pardon? I know you were in the love sack, but I'm asking whether or not you were straddling his stomach area. I think I might have been. Okay. You say you think you might have been, which means really nothing because you're not admitting to anything. Isn't it true that you were straddling his midsection? Objection. Ask an answer. This is the third time. Ma'am. And during that time that you were on top of him, there was some kissing that was going on, right? No, we were sleeping. But as soon as you woke up, you kissed him, right? Not as soon as I woke up. Some point thereafter, you kissed him, right? Before I left, yes. So you're saying that there was no romantic kissing that went on, is what you're telling me, right? That's not what I'm saying. So there was romantic, romantic kissing that went on. Yes. When did this romantic kissing take place? I think it started first in the afternoon and then in the evening, or I guess it would be early morning on the 5th or the 6th. But and he also left. placed his hands between your legs, right? Some point. Not that I recall. But that means that you, you were here when he testified, right? Yes. So it could be that he did place his hands between your legs, right? No, could be that he was full of crap. He didn't go there. So you are saying that Mr. Burns is full of crap? When he said he got near my vaginal area, absolutely. Right. So, and you're the same person that's telling us that he's full of crap that has lied to him, right? Yes. That has lied to Leslie Udy, right? Yes. Right? Yes. That has lied to Detective Flores on two occasions, right? Yes. And... To continue this litany of lies, it isn't restricted to Utah. You also lied to people in Arizona, didn't you? Yes, everyone. Right. And yet you're telling us somebody else is full of crap, right? When it comes to that, yes. So the answer is yes. I said yes. 